The first things with doing my eyebrows, I always have four major tools that I use. I have this little brush. I use this to brush out my brows before I actually apply my product and also while I apply my product to make sure it's nice and even and blended. I also have this angled, small angled brush that I use to apply the dip brow. I had this larger angled uh, brush that I used to apply my concealer. And then I have this large flat concealer brush that I used to blend out my concealer. And those are my four go-to like tools. Alright, so like to actually make this instead of this, I use my Anastasia of Beverly Hills dip brow and dip brow pomade in chocolate. So I also go into an eyeshadow palette and I take um this dark brown and like darken up areas that I feel like they need that emphasis on because like sometimes it can still look a little sparse and that eyeshadow like really helps and fills it in because I like my brows to be a little bit more you know popping like you see them like they're here like they are there's no games to be played with these brows like that's what I like you know because like I go from this to this and like this is like nothing and this is something so yeah okay so taking um, my dip brow um, first, I go in with like not that much product, and I'm basically outlining my entire brow. So I outline the bottom, and I start. I don't start at the front because I don't like. I don't want it to be too harsh in the front. I start like a third of the way there and go out to the arch, and I bring it down to the tail, and then with whatever is left over, I bring to the front like that. And I do the exact same for the top. Like I don't start at the front of the brow. I literally just feather it like so. When I'm getting to the front, like the pressure that I'm applying is like basically none because I want to make sure like it's not too harsh because I'm not one for like the box brows. Like that's not for me. I don't like boxy brows. I like it to, you know, be a nice gradient to look as natural as possible, you know? And then when I get to the front, with whatever product I have left over from like, you know, going through and actually filling in the brow, I go like this. And I do like hair-like strokes going upwards and like sideways, you know, trying to mimic hairs. And then I take my brush and I just brush the front of them up and you know, brush the rest like in the direction that the hair is supposed to be and as you can see there's still like some sparse areas like this is like a bland brow like this is how I know I probably should get like a darker color in the dip brow but you know I'll do that when I do that like this is working just fine I know how to finesse it like I can finesse this so yeah I just keep blending and brushing it out to my liking so this is pretty much like the best that I can get with um, the dip brow. Like this is for like, I could say like this is for a natural day when I want to do like natural brows. But we're not going for that today, honey. We are going for some brows. I take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and um, Fawn. And that's what I use to outline my eyebrows. So with the larger angled brush, I just get a little bit. A little bit is on my hand and I just like dip it in there. Take a little bit and um, I just go underneath my brow and I start from the front. Um, when I'm in the front, I apply as little pressure as possible. The major thing about eyebrows, brows are sisters, not twins. So um, never get upset at yourself if they're not coming out exactly the same. Like, oh my gosh, this one eyebrow looks like this way and the other one is not the exact same. That is completely fine because one, it looks a little bit more, you know, it looks a little bit more natural like that. And um, two, like, I mean, like your eyebrows naturally just have like different shapes to some sort. So yeah, but I mean, I'm not saying like, don't have one like less arched than the other and then one that's like hella arched cause then that's just gonna look weird. But like I said, sisters, not twins. And I take the um, shader, the concealer brush, and I just blend out that concealer like I drag it underneath and then bring it down like that mm -hmm. 
and at this point this is when I know like I have like the shape that I desire so with that um, small angle brush I'm gonna go into that dark brown eyeshadow and fill it in more and I'm always going back and brushing through just to make sure that all the product is evenly distributed all right so this is what I do differently than a lot of other people that I've seen. Um, I know some people, they go in at the top with the, the same concealer that they used um, at the bottom. But I personally just don't like the way that looks. So I actually take a foundation that I'm using at the moment. So I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and it matches me. So I like the top to be like, you know, pretty much the same color as me and then the bottom to be more highlighted because then it doesn't have give that like floating eyebrow effect so as like what I did with the concealer to carve out my lower brow I literally go above my brow and just clean up the top just to make sure you know all that up there is nice and clean because you know the the floating eyebrows are just, you know, not for me. I mean, hey, some people may like the that highlighted look on the top and the bottom, but personally, it's a no for me, dog. So with this clear brow gel from Essence, um, it's a lash and brow gel mascara, but I only use it for my eyebrows. Um, I basically just set my brows in place because if I put in all this work for these brows, best believe they are not going anywhere. Honey. They're not going anywhere. They are staying on today. Like this stuff lasts through naps. Like I'm taking naps. Eyebrows still be on point. Like and it's perfect. And I like it to like in the front. I like it to look really hair like. So that's when the. Um, the gel, like the eyebrow gel comes in handy because it really helps create, um, it really helps place those hairs in that upward like motion, you know? All right, so just like that, my brows are done. This is how, for the most part, I do my brows like all the time. Sometimes the shape changes or like the intensity, like depending on the day and how I'm feeling, like I may do a lighter, you know, natural brow, or you know, I may do like a more intense, but I feel like this is probably like as intense as I could like go where it doesn't look like too bad, so. That is all, um, don't forget to like, comment and press that really big red button you know it kind of has i want to say it says subscribe you know something like that it's like really big red you know why not click it because you know if you click it then that means you'll be a part of the so fantastic family and you get to watch more videos and like why wouldn't you want to do that like of course all right then and that is all